Oh, well, it's, it's fun to rock the top wire. Before we get started, we haven't played this live yet. And we've practiced it twice. super interested in minimal, you know, the minimalist movement. And Pylon itself, it originated as basically an art project. Michael Husky and Randy Bewley, they decided that they would form a band. It was basically a sort of art project. Go to New York, play once, 
hopefully get written up in New York Rocker, break up and come back home. And the first time we played, we opened for a band, I don't know if you're aware of, from the UK called the Gang of Four, and they were our heroes. And we got written up in Interview Magazine. So it was sort of like we had hoped that we would be written up in, um, uh, I don't know if you have a magazine locally like Flagpole, mm -hmm. but then we ended up in uh, U.S. News and World Report instead, you know, a national paper. And uh, just people like, come play with us, come back, we love you, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, just before you, you know, we didn't really plan on having a career in music. We were all art students, but we wow. had a career there for a while. society is it just it's you have this amazing array of Athens musicians um, can you tell me a little bit how that came about and how you I guess made your choices and how it all formed uh, with these I mean just wonderful Athens musicians well they're all sitting right over there I don't know if you can get a shot well three of them are anyway and one's over there um, but uh, um, it's interesting that you were talking about the relationship between the art and the music scene um, there was uh, an organization that came about a few years ago uh, called Art Rocks Athens and uh, they wanted to promote and make sure that people understood the relationship between the art and the music scene in Athens. 
And so Jason um, Smith over here, um, I played with him in a band uh, called Supercluster, which was a recording project uh, that I had. And uh, he said, listen, uh, would, you, would you play 15 minutes of pylon music? I said, sure, if you'll help me put together the band. And I played with Jason, and I played with his wife, Kay Stanton, and we brought in uh, their current drummer, who was Gregory uh, from Casper and the Cookies, and we got a really kind of almost overwhelming response. Well, so a year later, almost, I don't know if it was more or less, probably a little more, um, he said, well, can you play half an hour and uh, ask us to open for uh, Fred Schneider, and people just loved it. And I forgot to mention two other people that we gathered on this last time we played. Uh, who's Joe Rowe, who's the drummer for the Glands, who plays with Casper and the Cookies now, and my friend Damon Ditton, who's a keyboardist, who had played with me on uh, some solo work, and we're real, just real good friends. But in the midst of all of this, something else wonderful is happening, and I'm using this personally as a way to promote um, my old band, the originator of all of this pylon. We're having a live project being released this year. It's going to be called Pylon Live. And it's uh, from a recording that was made um, when we first broke up, December 1st, 1983. So that'll be out in July. It'll be a double vinyl record. Um, but before that, I guess to gauge interest in April, there'll be a single release with two of the songs from that project. Oh, fantastic. I've, I've heard a, a few bands out there, I've thought, hmm, you know, I think that they might have listened to us, but, uh, you know, uh, I, th I, I think that we're kind of unique in some respects, that nobody sounds exactly like right. us. And I don't know why that is, but it, it's maybe because we were a creation of the people that came together to make the music and the times that we made it and um, just who we were.
Well, well, beep, 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 pray, pray, throw it away, write it down, take a picture of it. Four minutes, four minutes, four minutes, four minutes, ow! Thank you.